Alaskan volcano eruption could mean trouble for planes in the air. The Alaska Volcano Observatory sent out a warning to all aircraft following an eruption at the Bogoslav Volcano, the latest in a series of eruptions that first began in December 2016. Airlines were placed on high alert on Saturday after Alaska's Bogoslav Volcano erupted at 10.15 a.m., spewing a cloud of ash more than 30,000 feet into the air over the Aleutian Islands. Once ash enters an aircraft engine, glass in the ash melts as it passes through the plane's combustion chamber, which operates at temperatures as high as 1,500 degrees Celsius. The molten glass particles then stick to the turbine blades and bring them to a standstill. This can cause the engines to stall. The particles in the ash can also block the pitot tubes, which act as airspeed sensors. The blockage would give the aircraft false airspeed readings, which could be overlooked by the pilots. A red alert was downgraded to orange on Sunday after no further ash emissions occurred. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Run for your lives! Sometimes your only option is to run. When a volcano erupts big time, it spits out a fast-moving and incredibly destructive mass of material known as a pyroclastic flow. And according to the United States Geological Survey, if you ever find yourself in the path of one, you should run in the opposite direction and run fast. Pyroclastic flows are made up of a basal flow of volcanic ash, lava, rock, and gases, which move beneath a cloud of ash. Their temperatures can exceed 1,000 degrees Celsius, and they can move at 700 kilometers per hour. Typically, pyroclastic flows move downslope, but they can go uphill when the ratio of gas to ash is higher. This is known as a pyroclastic surge. These dense pyroclastic surges can even move over water. Pyroclastic flows generally destroy everything in their path, including vegetation, buildings, and people. There are generally two kinds of pyroclastic flow. The first type forms when an eruption column cools and the ash becomes too dense to maintain an upward thrust. The second type is rarer and occurs when so much pressure builds up inside a volcano that it erupts laterally and boils over. The last known example of this is when Mount St. Helens in Washington State erupted in 1980. So there you have it. If you ever happen to be near a volcano when it blows its top, now you know what to do. Supervolcano stirs under millions in Italy. A supervolcano that last erupted nearly 500 years ago is showing signs of reawakening. The Campi Frigre supervolcano lies beneath the Bay of Naples in southern Italy and contains 24 craters along with numerous geysers and vents. According to scientists, there has been a recent decrease in gas pressure at the supervolcano. There has also been a recent increase in the temperature of the supervolcano's hydrothermal reservoir. The combination of these two factors means the magma may be approaching critical degassing pressure, which could lead to volatility and even culminate in an eruption. Campi Frigre is Italian for burning fields. The supervolcano is eight miles wide and sits directly under more than half a million people. Campi Frigre spewed ash across Europe for eight consecutive days when it last erupted in 1538. The Italian government has raised the threat level of the supervolcano from green to yellow, meaning that it now requires scientific monitoring. The Ring of Fire is home to 90% of the world's earthquakes. Hundreds were killed and more injured when two killer earthquakes hit Japan and Ecuador over the weekend. Despite occurring only 32 hours apart, Experts believe the two are not related. The only commonality is that both are located in the seismically active Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is a horseshoe-shaped arc around the Pacific Ocean that extends from South America all the way to New Zealand. At about 25,000 miles long, its most visible features are the volcanoes dotting the coast, roughly 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. Throughout history, Cataclysmic eruptions have occurred in this area, so Johnny Cash was on spot when he sang that the Ring of Fire burns, burns, burns. 90% of the world's earthquakes also occur along the ring, caused by the sliding of tectonic plates, huge slabs of the Earth's crust. When plates slide horizontally past each other, some parts get stuck, 
built up stress in those areas eventually cause the rock to break or slip and the plates to lurch forward, causing earthquakes. Plates that collide form convergent plate boundaries, which give rise to volcanoes through subduction. Rows that pull apart form divergent boundaries, which become the site for seafloor spreading and rift valleys. A less powerful quake in Tonga also occurred Sunday. It too is believed to be unrelated to those in Ecuador and Japan. Despite this, an increase in global seismic activity in recent years is still cause for concern. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Volcano Villarica in southern Chile erupted on Tuesday morning. Chilean officials issued a red alert on Monday and thousands of people were evacuated from the area prior to the explosion. Volcano Villarica is one of the most active volcanoes in South America. A stratovolcano, Villarica was formed by many layers of hardened lava and volcanic ash. Villarica also has a crater at the brim, created when the volcano's magma chamber was emptied after a previous large eruption. As with most stratovolcanoes, Villarica is capable of erupting with great force because gases dissolved in the magma increase pressure within the volcano. The gas is released at the top along with the magma. Prior to the eruption, 3,385 people were evacuated from two nearby towns as a precaution after Chilean officials noticed activity in Villarica's crater this past week. Villarica erupted on Tuesday morning at around 3 a.m. local time, spewing lava and ash 1,000 meters into the air. Volcanic ash from the explosion is expected to cover considerable distances and travel to parts of neighboring Argentina. Japanese island evacuated after volcano erupts. A volcano on a small Japanese island erupted on Friday, sending smoke billowing thousands of meters into the sky and forcing residents to evacuate. Mount Shindake erupted on Kuchinerabu Island, a small island in southern Japan at 9.59 a.m. on Friday morning. After the volcano erupted and spewed a tower of black clouds into the sky, the Japan Meteorology Agency raised the volcano alert level from 3 to 5. The approximately 140 residents of the island were evacuated by ferry. A pyroclastic flow of heated gas and rocks flowed down the side of Mount Shindake following the eruption and made its way down to the ocean. No injuries were reported despite the suddenness of the eruption.